We're getting ready for a big show. In fact, that's what's happening here. And everyone loves this show over at the Box Performance Space. Everyone also loves a bit of satire, especially when that satire does hit close to home. Well, now you can catch the show happening over at the Box Performance Space downtown, courtesy of the show here on more uh, with oh Susanna is actor Melissa Hyman along with Michael Lovato and producer Cody Dove guys thanks for coming in thanks for having us. Uh, that was, yeah I absolutely say thanks, too. I had a couple of teamsters help me load up your old couch into my range. yeah exactly it's gonna look nice I'm probably just gonna put it on the front porch Farmington style so we'll see what <laughs> it's happens good but, but good you deal. gotta say that it was as seen on TV oh yeah that's it's the only part of caveat the, the neighbors are gonna pray. exactly they're gonna ask for autographs mm -hmm. you know from the couch anyway uh, speaking of autographs everyone here huge fan of the show. Uh, our Thank face you. of Fox, Thanks. Brittany Flowers, I gotta say, a little starstruck <laughs> when she saw you guys were coming in. Um, for those, however, that have not had the opportunity to see you guys live, what is the show? Well, the show is a completely improvised uh, experience, and it's uh, it uses all New Mexico talent. What we do is we get audience suggestions right in the moment. So we'll ask for a location or a relationship, mm -hmm. then our actors right jump into action right there and create instant comedy right on the spot. It's uh, every Friday and Saturday at 9 downtown at the theater, and that's what led to uh, the newest show that we've uh, created now that's all about uh, where we live as well. Yeah, so, okay, yeah. so now let's talk about that. What is Oh, Susanna? What, what is the the premise of the uh, show. Oh, Susanna is a satirical review all about this great, wonderful, weird state that we live in. So mm -hmm. uh, what we've done, it's a collection of sketches and scenes and songs, a little bit of improvisation too. Mm -hmm. And uh, we touch on everything from the VLA to Pasole. So just a little bit of everything. Okay. Uh, and it's the first time it's ever been done. In Santa Fe, they've done a melodrama that's kind of touched on local politics a little bit. Uh -huh. But this is the first of its kind in the state, all about the people that live here and the right. things that we experience. So it's not just about politics. We're talking right. about the experience. Experience of being New Mexicans. Now, are, are are you guys all native New Mexicans? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, what what does it uh, what does it feel like to produce a show like this to, to be able to poke fun? I know I I enjoy poking fun at my state because it is my state. I'm from here, so yeah. you got to be able to laugh at yourself a little yeah. bit. So, what's it like? It's a lot of fun. That's mm -hmm. really what the heart of it is, and I think it's something that we can all relate to. We all have uh, friends and family who have visited us visited us here, mm -hmm. so we can relate to all of the humor growing mm -hmm. up in New Mexico and all of the humor that we can find in outsiders view of New Mexico. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of fun to take our everyday experiences and kind of translate them into something that everyone can laugh about. Yeah. Yeah. How do you, how do you feel about it? Yeah. I feel like there's like so many things that are just oddly New Mexican, you know? Yeah. And like you said, we can kind of make fun of it because it's ours. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't want anyone else to Yeah, exactly. It, but. <laughs> Nobody else can make fun of <laughs> no, us. Yeah. Only we can make fun of us. Yeah. That's right. Totally, exactly. Yeah. Well, I know that we've got a little bit uh, about, or we got a little portion of the show that you're going to do for us live yeah. right here, right? Yeah, we want to show you a snippet. The whole show, uh, Oh, Susanna, is all, it's kind of like a barbed wire love letter to our state. Okay. Everything from having to navigate the big eye to uh, exploring Carlsbad Caverns. And even we have a, a little bit of fun with uh, local news. So that's what this oh, uh, great. The snippet that you're going to see here is a little close to home when it comes to that. Oh, good. So, all yeah. right. Let's take a look, guys. Yeah. Good evening. I am Jeff Rodriguez y Rodriguez, and tonight our Action 10 New Mexico news team is proud to welcome all the way from Omaha, Nebraska, Pam Johnson. Thank you, Jeff, and thank you, New Mexico. I'm very excited to be a part of the news team here and to get a taste of the great Southwest. Our top story tonight, the Fiery Foods Festival proved to be a big hit this year. New Mexicans enjoyed such wonderful spicy fare as jalapeno <laughs> poppers. <laughs> Chicharrones de Oaxaca and perennial crowd favorite chili relinos to Choco Tepec. <clears throat> Jeff. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> oh, Jeff. Was that okay? I mean, I feel like it was pretty close, but oh, I tried pretty hard to brush up on my Espanol. <laughs> Bam, that was so great. Look, one thing I learned as a rookie here, don't worry about the Spanish stuff, all right? Okay. The thing our audience appreciates the most is authenticity. So just be yourself, okay? Okay. <clears throat> and we're back. Buenas noches, señores y señores. We come to you now with the thrilling conclusion of tonight's breaking news story. APD has told us that after escaping the taqueria in Mexico, 
Javier Gutierrez went across the street to the central carniceria, stopping only to purchase and eat a bowl of pozole al pasor con queso with a glass of horchata. He then ran through the yard of local congressman Jose Alfredo Gonzalez y Montoya's fundraiser, smashing a breakneck speed through a piñata and knocking over a small burro as well as the congressman's own abuelita. <laughs> Police finally apprehended Gutierrez as he crossed the Trisco Avenida Sasa Chavez, después de caminar atrás del camino y despedir su pistola muchas veces en el aire, mientras gritando, ¡ay, ay, ay! <laughs> he is listed in critical condition. That about wraps up the news. I am Jeff Rodriguez. And I am moving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, huh? Right there. That's just that's, that's just a taste. That's, great. that's just a sample. All right, so how can people get tickets to see this? Uh, it's easy. You can go to the box, abq.com. We also recommend because it's a smaller theater, mm -hmm. which is kind of part of the charm of it, that people get there at least 15 minutes early to uh, make sure that they have a seat. And what's nice, it is an open run, so we want to get as many people from around the state to come check it out. Okay. But it's good to get there early just to make sure you have a seat. So an open run, we, we don't have an end date on it just yet. We're going to run it until it runs its course. Yeah, right? especially Fantastic. with this election cycle. We're going to have some fun with that. I got a feeling fun. this one's going to want to <laughs> stick around for a, for a long while. Thank you guys <laughs> so much Thank for coming you. in. Thank you so much. For more information on Oh Susanna and the Box Performance Space, head over to casa.com and click on the Casa blog. All right.